Breaking headlines, ladies and gentlemen, the latest campfire updates, not just any campfire. This wildfire is engulfing towns in Northern California at a rate of about 80 football fields per minute. It is hopscotching across Northern California, and that's insane. So my name is also Captain Obvious. A state of emergency has been declared for Butte County due to the effects of the campfire, which began about 6.30 a.m. on Thursday and has quickly spread, said the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection. So, it's grown to over 18,000 acres, folks, and you can see right here via Google search, just type in California Fire, there's major headlines, thousands evacuated, I think there's over 1,000 homes that have been fried, so it's, it's a pretty big deal. Now, if you scroll down here, the affected area, these are reported road closures. You can see multiple freeways, I don't know if you've ever been to Big Bend or not, but some great skiing out there, hiking, biking, etc. Very nice area. So this whole area, I mean, these roads are just shut down. I don't know if you ever heard of Chico, Paradise. Paradise is a town of about 26,000 people. So let's see here, four hours ago at 7.30 p.m. update, up to 1,000 homes burn, multiple deaths in Paradise. Wildfire burns into paradise. California forcing evacuations. Wildfire today. Chico Enterprise record. The Weather Channel. It's pure chaos up here. There was uh, propane tanks exploding. And you can't even see your hand out there in certain areas. I'm tempted to go as close as I can to the area and see if I can get any footage of the aftermath. Or, I mean, obviously, I'd be able to if I go out there. Uh, the expense and time is just going to depend. But I might go out there, folks, because... It'd be interesting to see with boots on the ground. Also, real quick, I want to let you know this podcast is brought to you in part by Minds.com. It's really cool. I'm glad the way that we connected because a lot of people that go to Minds.com actually leave comments and blogs and information that I present on the Leak Project. So you can get rewarded for blogging and for what you contribute on the platform. It's totally free for you, and they'll even help you set up an Ethereum wallet so you can get crypto coins for your contribution. So check it out. It's totally awesome. The crypto social network that's decentralized that cares about freedom of speech. Now, if you go to Record Searchlight, you can see the map of the campfire in Butte County. I'm going to zoom in here right now. And these are all the evacuations. Paradise, Centerville, Lower Skyway, Lower Clark, Nimshaw Zone, Highway 70 Corridor, Highway 32, Pence Road evacuated, evacuation warning for Lower Nil, Upper Honey Run, great honey out there, it's organic, evacuation, all other paradise zones, evacuation warning, Lower Skyway, Highway 32, Highway 70 closed, 99, Skyway closed at Bruce, Campfire Origin, once again, my name, it's Captain Obvious. Um, this reminds me, this reminds me because of its very fast uh, movement. It's late folks. It's like midnight out here. So it's been a long day. <laughs> I'm like, I got to drink some coffee and, and do a podcast on this. Cause this is, this is a big deal. I'm, I'm wondering if just because of these horrific conditions for drought, forest fires, the conditions are so ripe. We're going to see more of this in the very near future. Hopefully, Southern Colorado avoids the nasty effects that could happen because, I mean, there's so many trees out here. The forests out here are extremely thick. I mean, it's tough to find real estate for a lot of trees. And 100 years ago, it wasn't like this. So, especially in these higher elevations with the amount of trees that are dying or already dead. Now, I haven't seen these areas in California until today. I started doing some research. And a lot of these areas, you know, just small towns. Paradise is 26,000 people. That's a lot of people. But some of these towns, like six, 700 people. And doing some research, there's a lot of Native American relics and artifacts and structures in these surrounding areas. So a lot of this might be lost. And some people might say, hey, could this, could they be testing directed energy? I mean, there's a lot of speculation 
last year when those fires took place that were just... And then you'd see sinks that got... that they were just, you know, dust, but trees were fine just across the street. Sometimes even in the same house, the same lot, the trees would be okay, but cars would be melted, porcelain melted. And then you read about these mirrors that... Hypothetically speaking, if they're put in space, could be used as a giant magnifying glass. I'm sure you've heard of the stories where you get a magnifying glass and the worms, right? Or the little slugs, and you're like, Neh. that's pretty, pretty wicked. I never did that, but I heard about that stuff, you know, growing up. I mean, I mean if you're a kid, I mean, I'm sure it's not really like a big deal. Like, oh my goodness, man, look at that's a slug over here. What are you doing to it? But anyway, I mean, I never did it, but, you know, kids do that kind of stuff. Totally cool. I get it. Um, The future of a slug slayer with a magnifying glass. Where is Billy now, 30 years later? (laughs) Anyway, yeah, that'd be an interesting study, right, to find out where people went 30 years after they they were frying slugs with a magnifying glass, or they were just, like, putting salt on it, like, I'm going to be in the Illuminati card deck one day. (laughs) Anyway, I shouldn't be uh, joking. It's, this, is, this is absolutely terrible what's going on. But anyway, so he said, I'm from serious. I'm not serious. Uh, but this is serious. This is very serious and definitely good vibes your way. If you live in the area, please send me some pictures. Um, if, if you can send me pictures, video footage, leakproject at gmail.com. Uh, you can also send me some footage. I've got another email that I don't get as many emails at yet, and that is email with leak at safebolt.com. That's an encrypted email service. They're even offering discounts for Leak Project listeners if you're interested um, for like encrypted services, cloud service, etc. But anyway, I don't want to get into that right now. I just want to show you this area. And California, it's the place to be, right? They certainly love you in California. So many opportunities in California. Like Concal, California. I think there's like 700 people that live out here. Yeah, 710 people. Probably never even heard of this area before. That's pretty. Big Ben's really nice. So anyway, that's it. Have a good one. Just a quick update. Be safe. We'll probably see a lot more of this in the future. Really nasty, fast forest fires. But of course... Of course, it's all just natural. So, be the change.